In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set a default cash account for the receive money window, also known as the cash receipts window. And we'll look at, at two methods. One way lets you set a default cash account for the whole company, and others lets you set one that only affects a specific customer. So that's a good way where you can create exceptions to your company-wide default. So let's start by talking about how the receive money window normally works. So if I go to tasks and receive money, and we'll just grab a customer. And I'm going to change this to a different cash account up here. And we'll save that. And we notice that it stayed on that setting. Even if I close this window and come back to it, it still remembered that setting. So that's the default out of the box method um, for the, the cash account to work in the receive money window. But let's say that we have one account that most of our transactions go to, and we don't want it to remember this setting because it's, it's easy to overlook that and start posting transactions to the wrong bank account. So let's close that and go to the Maintain menu, down to Default Information, and then Customers. And here on the Terms and Credit at the bottom, you can see we can set a default cash account. So I'm going to turn on this option. And I'm going to set that to 10200 regular checking account. We'll click OK. And go back to receive money. And you can see now that account is automatically selected. So even if I uh, enter another invoice or another receipt and I change that to the other account, save it. This time you can see it automatically reverts back to our default cash account. Now if you want to make exceptions for individual customers, let's take a look at that. So I'm going to go to the Maintain menu and Customers. And I'm just going to grab the first customer on the list here. I'm going to go to the Payment and Credit tab. And let's say that this customer likes to pay us with PayPal. So we uncheck the box to Use Default Settings. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and change the default payment method also. But then we're going to change the default payment account to our PayPal account. Because PayPal transactions go into a PayPal account first, and then you transfer them to your bank account from there. We want those to directly affect our PayPal account. So I'm going to save that. Now we'll go back to receive money. And as soon as we fill in that customer ID, we can see that that account automatically gets filled in for that customer. So that way you can have a company-wide default setting as well as um, exceptions that are created for specific customers. Gives you a lot of flexibility and, um, and also is going to prevent you uh, most of the time from accidentally posting to the wrong cash account. So I hope you find that useful.